Today let me show you how to create a cloud stamp brush from a picture. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Before we can create our stamp brush, we need to remove a background. Right click on the layer, go to add, choose add local selection. Click on your selection layer mask to activate it. The color wheel becomes black and white. Don't worry, it's normal. This happens when creating masks. Before they start painting, make sure that the foreground color of your brush is set to black. Increase the size of your brush as needed and start selecting the areas that you want to keep on the image. Now this brush is wrong for the job, I need a texture brush. I'll choose this one, the texture big brush. Using the brackets on your keyboard, decrease or increase the size of your brush as needed and continue painting. Alright, now that we are done, we need to invert the image. To do so, use Ctrl plus I. Right click on the layer. Go to Convert. Choose Convert to Transparency Mask. Last thing we need to do is flatten the image. So first click on the image layer to activate it. Close the transparency mask and hit Ctrl Shift plus E. Now it is time to clean up around the cloud, so set your brush to the erase mode and remove all the extra blue color that you see around it. We are going to create the stamp brush, but first hit Ctrl plus I to invert your image. I'm going to get back to my fill circle brush. I always create stamps from that brush. You don't have to, it's just my preference. Alright, open the edit brush settings. Click on predefined. Click on add stamp. Name your stamp, you can add your initial on the front and a date if you want. Make sure that all the boxes are checked and leave the style to regular. Click OK. You have now created a stamp. I'm going to test it. As you can see, I can change its color. Don't forget that you can also change the size of the stamp. Now, before you go, if your stamp is too dark for your taste, just hit Ctrl plus U and using the lightness slider, brighten it up. See the difference? So we are done for today. Thank you for watching. Next time I'll explain blending modes. Until then, have a wonderful week.